Hello everyone, welcome back. Short Nature here, back with a brand new video. I do not have the webcam on because I'm getting sleepy and I don't have the proper clothes when I'm recording this video. So today we're going to be talking about the Final Assault, the Vex Offensive enemy, the Undying Mine, and what people thought about that gameplay leading up to this was a very much a disappointing game. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post videos each week or every week onto the platform and make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. So let's move on to the topic that everybody has been talking about is the final assault of the Undying Mine. Now for me personally, the Undying Mine is just not what I really thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be something drastic i didn't know that there was a matchmaking into this i thought that you had to find a group of six people to play the final assault because you're going against the undying mine you're going against a portal and it might give you like a raid type of feel and it gives you the same thing that you've been doing all week long leading up to this event now for me personally if bungie was going to do that bungie kind of just been like you know what we're going to make the Undying Mine like a rotating enemy each week. Like have like different enemies each week. And then like the final assault could have been like one of the biggest boss fights known to man. And a lot of people were a little disappointed. I kind of knew that something was wrong when the matchmaking was matching me against five other players. And I thought to myself, that's kind of weird. So I guess I don't have to find a six player team to play the final assault i kind of noticed that in the game i kind of noticed like oh okay okay and then i moved on and then i kind of went in it was like the same thing that you've been doing all month long of october leading up to the end of month of november and it's the exact same thing that you've been doing and i'm thinking to myself okay icora built this gate i thought when we visit icora we're going to go through that gate and go into a different portal. But no, that wasn't the situation. The situation was, is the exact same thing, the exact, the, the exact same method, and just go with it. I didn't understand that when I went through the gameplay today, between yesterday and today, and then listened to other content creators who cover Destiny, were talking about the same thing, how the final assault didn't really live up to the hype at the end of the season. This is the season of the Undying. We're almost close to the season of the Dawning. We're very close to that very soon next month, which is gonna start on December 10th. And this is how you leave the taste for the season of the Undying. Like it had really great portions with the dungeons and different activities and different events throughout the months of October. And then a lot of people say, okay, this is the final assault. We had really great gameplays of dungeon and loops and chests and everything like that. And yet, when we get to here, it's the coolest enemy known to man. Like, the Undying, if you haven't played Destiny 1 and haven't played the Undying Mind Shrike, that was one of the coolest Shrikes I ever played. And for you to bring this back, bring this enemy back from Destiny 1 and then just stick him into the same portal as the previous enemy that we had, it was cool that he came out of the gate. It was pretty awesome. But at the same time, you're just saying to yourself, like, you could have did something a little bit better with this enemy. And for me personally, I'm not saying that this season on Dying was a was a, a was a failure. It wasn't a failure. We had really great things, really great events coming in. The tier system, the battle pass, or whatever you want to call it, was a really great portion to Destiny 2 to keep people playing the game and gain gain rewards and gain. Uh, cool stuff throughout those tiers and hopefully we'll get to see new stuff in the season of dying um this week's article probably won't mention anything about it but hopefully we get like a a preview of the season on dying what we're gonna see and you know you're left with a bad taste in people's mouth with the final assault I can completely understand a lot of people what they're coming from about this situation like this is the undying mind it's like like, come on, man. Like, you could have did something better in this final assault besides this. Like, if you if you were going to do this and match people up regardless and have him doing the same mechanics like the previous enemy, you could have made the Undying Mind a rotating enemy each week and put some sort of loot in there that getting people to play that specific activity every day. And for me personally... 
I thought that when I was doing the Undying Final Assault, I thought that there were going to be a special weapon in there from the previous Destiny. Like, holy crap, if you did this activity, like, this would have dropped for you. And it kept people coming back, coming back to play that activity each week. Now, a lot of people are, are playing this activity to kind of get the Undying, Undying Seal um, Triumph. And it's pretty easy to kind of get that. You know, it's going to be mostly like weapons and doing some stuff to kind of complete. It's kind of easy to kind of get that seal done in like like a good roughly one to two days. If you really put forth effort in playing the game every day. If you got tired of other games. But, you know, with Star Wars and Death Stranding and I can't believe I'm saying this. Call of Duty Modern Warfare games that kind of came out if that's taking a toll on you okay i completely understand but if you're just a person who's been playing destiny for a very long time you can get this seal roughly pretty easily um but for me personally i thought the assault was a little it was a c minus no it was a d the reason why i say it was a d is just how the enemy was like it was the same mechanics like the previous enemy that we had like you know got to take this down do this and then he moves over and then he shifts back to his you know his corner spots or whatever and if you have a good team you will take down the enemy in you know quickly and in, in a fashion um but i completely understand what a lot of people are coming from about this situation where it was like this is the final portion of the season on dying and then you got the undying mind kind of like showcasing and promoting it and people were disappointed in it. I completely understand where a lot of people are coming from. Like, they were disappointed into this situation. Like, it was just like, you know, like, it was like a complete failure. So, hopefully that they'll take this in consideration and, you know, make something a little bit better. If they're going to be doing this type of activity, but something else different for the season of Undying. Just learn from that. Like, okay, people were a little disappointed about the final assault. We need to do something better. To make, you know, the community come back and play the game over and over again. Maybe we need to put some loot in there to make the community keep playing this game over and over again. So hopefully that, you know, they take this in consideration and learn from it and make something better of it in the near future. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about the final assault. What you thought about the gameplay of the Undying Mind. Were you a little disappointing about how they kind of showcased the final assault in the last couple of weeks or so for the season of Undying? And let me know what kind of changes that you want to see in the near future to make these type of gameplays a little bit better. And maybe some loop tables in there for these type of activities. Just let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Short, by Short Nature. And I will see you guys in my next post.